What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we're gonna to be talking about what is probably the biggest upgrade that I have made to my kit so far this year. That is the Rode Wireless Go 2. Intro. All right, so let's talk about wireless audio for a second. For the most part, there haven't really been any major upgrades to the wireless audio world in quite some time. The original Rode Wireless Go has been out for quite some time. I never used one, but I know a lot of people that really, really liked their systems, but that system did have a few quirks. The Wireless Go 2 solves the majority of these problems. The biggest upgrade to the system is the fact that it now records dual channels. This system comes with one receiver and two transmitters. So if we have two people on screen, we can actually have them both mic'd up at the same time. I'm actually wearing one of the body packs right now for my lab and I have the other body pack right here. So we can have two separate audio sources combined into one. With the dual channel system, there's actually a couple options that we can use to make this even more beneficial for us. We can either split the audio into the left or right channel so that each mic has its own channel. We can sum them into a mono source or we can actually get a safety channel. So far in this video, I've been using the body pack with a lav plugged into it, but I did want to give you guys an audio sample of what the built-in microphone sounds like. So I'm using the other transmitter with nothing on it. This is literally just the microphone that's built into it, and this is what that sounds like. Another great thing about this system is the battery is not only rechargeable, but it lasts all day. It's super easy to charge these things. They just have a little USB-C port right on the side of them and they charge pretty quickly and they last all day. I used this at a wedding a couple weeks ago and I was able to record for about five hours and didn't even have to think about whether or not I had enough battery power. We get a pretty nice readout on the receiver of what the battery level is for everything, but these things last all day. Another thing that I really like about this system is its form factor. It's tiny, like it, I never have to worry about whether or not I'm gonna be able to fit it in my carrying case. When you compare this to the Rode Link system that I was using, actually, hold on one second, let me go get that system so we can compare the body packs. This is the body pack from the system that I was using. So if we take a look at these side by side, like there's, not even a comparison there like this it's, it's just amazing to me how tiny this form factor is so probably my favorite feature of this entire system is the onboard recording that each body pack has we have the option to record up to seven hours of uncompressed 24-bit audio what that means is i never have to worry about what happens if i lose signal with my wireless receiver it just records straight to the body pack and you use the Rode Central app to pull those files off of the pack. This is just one of those things that you don't really know that you need until you have it. And it's just, it makes the day so much less stressful when you don't have to worry about what happens if you have audio issues. Now, there are a couple things with the system that honestly could kind of be confused, but I don't want to necessarily call them bad things because I mean, the system in and of itself is great, and these aren't really bad things. They're just kind of annoying things to work around. So the first thing I wanna to touch on is the adjustment of your audio. Because this system is so small, we have a very limited physical interface on this system. So because of that, it's kind of tricky to adjust your audio exactly the way that you want it. Each button that's on these units does multiple different things depending on how hard or how long you press the button, which can get kind of confusing if you don't really know what's going on or if you're new to the system. In my opinion, if we had some way to connect some kind of like Bluetooth app or something to the receiver to adjust those audio levels, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, speaking of applications, in order to use this system, you do have to use the Rode Central app. And for the most part, that app is fantastic. It's super easy to use, it's really intuitive, and all you have to do to use the system is install the app onto your computer and plug your units into the computer via the USB-C, and then you can do everything from update firmware, do your settings, all that stuff. The only complaint that I have about the app is the fact that we can't batch export our backup audio files. If you're somebody like me, I like to have everything in place, including my backups, before I start my edit. So yeah, I can go in and I can export everything individually, but it would be nice to, you know, come home from a shoot, plug everything in and just batch export everything and put it into like a backups folder or something before I even have to start my edit. I just like to have everything all in one spot before I get started. 
those are really my only two qualms with this system. And in all honesty, they're really not that big of a deal to begin with. I am just really, really impressed with this system. I haven't had really any issues. I did have a dropping issue, but I found out later that the groom had his cell phone in the same pocket as the transmitter, so that's why I was getting a bunch of interference. But other than that, I have had zero dropping issues. They improve the range so that the range is better on these. And the form factor is what does it for me. The tiny form factor, the ability to pack it down into literally anything. I can throw it in my backpack if I need to. I can put it in my Pelican cases. I can put it anywhere. I do really, really like this system. And it also delivers, in my opinion, some pretty high quality audio, especially for the price point. I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on the Wireless Go 2 system if you've used it. So if you have used this system, let me know what your thoughts are down in those comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That kind of stuff does make a huge difference to us on the channel. We're doing our best to get to 10,000 subscribers. And when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna have something very, very special on the channel. Anyway, it's been really great hanging out with you guys. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace. All right, now we finally got the studio set up. Jeez, man. You serious? What? Uh, the heck?